The people who got the vaccine don't want to talk about it because they feel shame. I get it. The people who went along with it because they really believed it and now are starting to realize, oh gosh, I was misled, but I can't admit that because it makes me look like an asshole, weak, like a follower. I understand that too. The people who called for the death of the unvaccinated, that's a kind of the category that's harder for me to, people like Jimmy Kimmel, for example. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in, we'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. How do you treat people like that who wanted you to die? You know, there was a great mashup that Rogan talked about a few times where it was all these different shows and it said, brought to you by Pfizer. Yeah. Anderson Cooper, brought, brought to you by Pfizer. Pfizer. It's an amazing. I think you have to realize that there's, it's all about the money. And, and as you get into this, you read Bobby's book about through Anthony Fauci, you realize if you want to know what's really going on, not just in big pharma, but in yeah. government is follow the money and the pen, even in the NFL. I mean, there was a strong push. They sent stooges out to every team to try and enforce a vaccination level above 90% on every team with zero exemption, with zero um, formed consent. Uh, just get this so that we look good because big pharma ad spend is humongous, not just on the late night shows. It's obviously influences Hollywood, the NFL. So you have to understand who is actually. But I got